Hi guys and welcome. If you want to build your own landing page or website, it's definitely better to use the website building platforms because in that case, you can make that happen really fast, easy and without an extra effort. So you don't need to learn coding, you don't need to learn uh, web design and so on because everything is pretty made and everything is pretty ready to go. Mm, you just need to customize the template uh, and that's pretty it. That's why I want to show you one of the most powerful platforms in the world for the moment uh, because RT made a lot of things uh, on this platform. That's why I want to share it with you and we left the link in the description panel of this video so you can easily get access to this platform straight from this video um, to bring your clicks to your mm, customers and that's really fantastic. I don't want to make this video like one hour long. I saw all those tutorials of how to make your landing page and it takes one hour. I don't want to waste your time. Uh, I want to highlight the main editing features of this platform. And in the end of this video, you're going to know of how to build it by yourself. So first of all, you need to find the link in the description of this video. Then you need to press start a free trial and platform itself will ask you uh, which plan is suitable for your business in any case you have 14 day trial and this is pretty enough to build everything up uh, actually it's one hour long work if you starting from from the scratch let's go inside the platform and i will show you everything that's how platform looks from inside landing page sites conversion tools leads brand images lead magnets integrations domains and support and if we're talking about the landing page uh, we're gonna press the create new in this spot you'll see the templates that's sorted by conversion rate they're most popular newest and you can sort it by the page type by industry by style and even by color uh, so here in this spot you need to be as specific as possible to find the correct template and to save some time on editing i'm going to show you how to edit everything and first of all you need to give your page a name you can change it later uh, all the editing features are pretty the same and it doesn't matter uh, you're building a landing page or a website and that's why everything is simple everything is easy and everything is drag and drop when you're hovering over the picture you see all those blue boxes uh, with elements in your page uh, all the editing features happens with this pencil button and you can see that you uh, that you can find this pencil on every element on your page except the spacer but we're going to talk about it later and you see this divider mm, vertical uh, line that you can grab and reshape the elements on your site on your landing page depends on how you want them to look um, in this in this layout let's make it like that let's delete this stuff here what do we have here all right let's make it like that that's pretty pretty cool and pretty nice so what do we have here layout sections widgets styles and settings undo redo feedback preview all the all, all the pages that you can build in this platform absolutely mobile friendly and they're adaptable to any platform uh, like tablets and tvs and so on and and so on so you uh, you can be sure that everything will look properly everything will be great uh, if you open your website or landing page in tablet or cell phone so Let's jump here. Layout. Any landing page build up in some layout with a section. So hero footer and you can add sections straight from here. It can be uh, about section. There's an impressive list uh, here and you can drag and drop things. You see drop here, drop here. OK, I'm going to make it like that. Logos of the companies that you work with, for example. And it's pretty done. It's pretty done. Testimonials in that shape. And here you go. Yeah, we, we have another layout. If you didn't found the uh, template of a section that you want, you can build it from scratch and you can grab this thing um, and drop it like that. 
Now let's go back to layout, hero, footer, blank, logos, test models, and so on. We made a lot of things here. Um, and for example, I don't need this about section. I can delete it straight from here and you'll see which one you're deleting. Hero footer should be on the bottom. So we're just grabbing it on this uh, six dots spot and moving it to the space where it need to be. Delete the lead just to show you how it's uh, how all this happened blank all right you see there's a background of entire page and you have this fantastic parallax effect and let's save that i like that so much and uh, to change that we need to go to styles but i'm gonna show it to you in seconds for example, you're building from a scratch, yeah? And, and the platform will say drag and drop widgets here to get started. Let's go to widgets. So, uh, there's a lot of them, but those eight, text, image and text, image, video, button and form, line and space, all you need actually. Uh, any landing page contains text, images, backgrounds, videos, and interactive elements like buttons and forms. And this is the most important part of this video so wait for it uh, but you can just drag a video and drop it here all right you can drag a button and drop it here if you uh, if you remember I showed you this divider and you can reshape things in this way you can add it sections separately so let's press this button and add it section settings you see that there's no background color here let's apply some color uh, i want it to be gray and you see you can change the opacity just to show you guys just to show you and that's pretty pretty nice but um also you can change the height of this uh, block you see the block is getting bigger or you can switch it to automatic, switch it off, and that's it. For example, you need this button to be in the center of this field. You just go into widgets, grabbing a spacer and dropping it in here. Cool, cool enough. Uh, let's go and change the background. You see the page ground is there. And while we in the styles, now I want to say that you can change all the fonts for entire page straight from one spot from here. Like you see the headline font and text font, the color of the font, and you can change it uh, with a couple clicks. So page background, we see this picture here, we can change an image and you see that there's an image color overlay. If we're going to switch it off, you see that the picture became a little bit brighter. Let's change an image. You can use the images that you uploaded previously. You can use premium images uh, to buy them straight from here. Uh, it's $8 per one picture. But I suggest you to create your own content uh, in a high quality and upload it from your computer. And that's what I'm going to do right now. I have this great picture here on the spot. And here you go. You have the parallax effect. Let's add some color I want it to be gray and I want it to be a little bit shaded like that that's it that's cool that's cool enough um, to to try it and that's cool enough to like use all those templates to use all those elements to get the shape of um, of the website that you need the landing page that you need so I showed you styles I want to show you settings and one of the most important part is uh, actually to switch on the buttons and that's what you need to wait SEO definitely you need your web page to be visible to search engine machines in case if you don't want it to be visible you need to switch on the flag I don't want search engines to index this page uh, SEO title your page title page description and keywords of course it's very very important social if you want to share a link to your landing page to some spot like Facebook or Pinterest 
it's gonna be displayed like that so take care about that analytics of course if you're running a business or just starting a business you definitely need to uh, get analytical information about the visitors about um, your statistics and that's the spot where you can uh, switch it on you can change the language of, uh, of your page save and close and the most important part uh, main purpose of any landing page or website is actually to describe your business and to get the contact information from your visitor uh, and how it's uh, how it's made get my home value now we see the button we can edit this button to uh, get the shape and the style that we want maybe i want this to be line here and circular or rounded or some else spot we can make it full width like big button here and so on all the styles uh all the colors that you want like everything is changing here but the most important part is the click event what's gonna happen when somebody will press this button uh it's gonna be the pop-up it can be calendly pop-up jump to page section link to landing page or link to an external url um, in most cases, the pop-up, you can create new or, uh, or you can choose from the list uh, that created already. And let's edit the pop-up. You see that there's email and street address. Get my home value now. And we need to press the edit integrations. We see how you'll get lead notification. In this case, you can get it to your e inbox to your email or you can add an external service of email marketing. And there's impressive list of cool and very powerful tools like ConvertKit, MailChimp, GetResponse, ActiveCampaign, and so on. If you know nothing about them, you need to uh, find out more because those are very powerful tools. Or if you don't want to buy uh, account on, on one of them, you can integrate everything with Zapier. And for example, Google Sheets, you'll get notifications to, uh, to your new list in Google Sheets. And that's pretty awesome and amazing but if you don't have much leads daily uh, it's up to you it's pretty enough to get notifications to your inbox fields email and street address you can add some fields like first name for example uh, and you can move them around here uh, and you see the lead matter this widget that shows how your uh, landing page will convert shows you that it's not great so we need to delete some field i suggest to delete street address in this case so two fields is pretty enough first name and email and you see the lead matter is excellent right now and the third step is what's going to happen when somebody will send you information it's going to be default lead pages thank you page you can build external landing page to say thank you uh, it can be external URL or remain on page and you can add a lead magnet for example if you promise to send some valuable information for free like checklist a PDF with a checklist or, or some else information you can integrate it straight here and that's pretty it before you go live you definitely need to make sure that all the buttons are um, switched on open and pop up my lead box one okay you see everything is works uh, everything is great you can um, you can reshape all the buttons all the things and and you can get really powerful landing page in a minute and that's what i wanted to show you actually i showed you everything that you need to use to build your own landing page and all you need to do is just find the link in the description panel of this video click that link uh, get access to the platform and build up your own landing page fast and easy. I hope this was useful. Hope you enjoyed. I wish you good luck with your new business or um, uh, with a business that you have. I wish you big profits and start building your own landing page. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Take care and bye-bye.